right boys and girls this web i'm going to use some sellotape so i'm pulling off a long bit of sellotape i'm going to stick it to my paper and then another long bit of sellotape right across the middle and cut it off from that corner to this corner with a long piece of sellotape same we did with our ribbon and cut it off and again that side then we can use our sellotape again and we can cut little bits like so go now I'm going to stick it to the table and I'm going to cut little bits of sellotape like this so I can add them to my web and if we stick lots of little bits to the sellotape to the table with our sellotape we can add them to our picture so some bits are a little bit longer some bits are a little bit shorter Then we're going to add them to our web. One on that one. One on that one. Oops. One on that one. And on that one. And we do exactly the same, we just keep adding our sellotape to the bits that we have already put on our paper. Some bits are bigger, some bits are smaller. But that doesn't make a difference, we can just keep going again. a little bit sticky like the spider's web because that's what spider's webs do they stick to you sometimes we might need big bits sometimes we might need small bits but we just keep going and if you're sitting under the light you will be able to see where your sellotape has gone just like the spider sees like this see it in the light. Right, and after we've did that job, we can use our crayons or our pencils to just scribble over the top and we will see your web come to life. do all of that till we're finished. See if you can make your own taped web at home boys and girls. See what it turns out like. 